All right, let me make some confessions. These are my so confessions. So you used to clock in when you were at work? Bitch, I would clock in and go home and get in my bed. <laughs> I would drive all the way up to work. You lying, man. And clock in. You did not do that. And go all the way back home and get in my motherfucking man, bed. You did not do that. In the name? You did not do that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you went back to sleep. <laughs> Some. Whatever I felt like doing today. <laughs> you got fired, didn't you? I did. <laughs> That's why this new that's why this new shit y'all hoes doing in the pandemic. Oh. Talking about some being at home, working from home. I've been doing this shit way before the pandemic. <laughs> oh. I would get in my car, drive all the way out there to the people's job, tell the motherfucker that them niggas see me for about 15 minutes. They say they know I'm going on my lunch break. <laughs> I will come back from my lunch break, clock in for my lunch break, do sit there by seven more minutes, and then I was gone. <laughs> Boy, I used to fuck the shit up so bad. Let me oh. tell you something. They couldn't catch me. I used to fuck the bitches up so bad. They couldn't catch me. I know and, they were thinking like, why this bitch always got overtime? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it went ahead. And then they fucked up and put that hand read in there. Oh. I said, oh shit, they done, they done ushered in the mark of the beast. So let me tell you what I told them. It's against my religious beliefs and practices. <laughs> it's against my religious beliefs and practices to put my hand on something, read my hand, because this is the mark of the motherfucking beast. And I'm a Christian. Shelly said it. You were destined for self employment. You were destined for self employment. <laughs> I told them motherfucking niggas I'm a Christian. It's the mark of the beast. And I ain't cocking in like that. Oh, my God. And you can't make me do nothing against my religious beliefs. So keep giving me the damn time card. And I'm cocking. And you know, I got a homegirl. We all got a motherfucking homegirl that walk on the, work on the job. To be like, bitch, I'm going to clock you out. You right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so we would do that uh, I look out for that bitch she'll look out for me that's my bitch to this day stay to this day either that or hey I'm about to go to my car take a nap if you need anything just hit me up let Before me know I'm going to my car taking a nap no, I'm going, I couldn't I could leave all the way nigga, I, I could leave all the I way lived, go I live 45 minutes away from there <laughs> ain't no way I'm going to drive up there clocking this bitch and go, go, they not going to see me no more <laughs> why <laughs> why and, and when they fired you, did you get upset? Hell yeah, and I got unemployment. Because see, what they tried to do, they fired me because them pussy ass hoes fired me on the strength of of what? They could catch me. <laughs> but they knew you were doing it, They though. knew I was doing some shit, but they couldn't catch me. And so because them niggas couldn't catch me, oh. They was real homophobic and transphobic at the time. Real bad. You know, I'm from Miami. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. true. So what them niggas did was they tried to get me on some other shit. And I told them people, I let me tell you so. Let me tell y'all what I did, y'all. I'm a gangster. Y'all really know. Y'all really the, 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 the soft and soft, supple tears man that you see sitting in front of you today. I'm a gangster. <laughs> you still gangster? I think we can all I'm, see that. I'm soft and supple. <laughs> Them motherfucking niggas fired me, right? Uh-huh. So I'ma tell y'all. I think I told y'all this story. If I used to work for track phone like a motherfucker, right? Track phone. So a lot of y'all that had track phones back in the day, I was the bitch that was programming your phone. I was the bitch that was sending you out your rebate. And you know, I moved all the way up through the just when track phone first started really popping, right? So them niggas fired me because. You know, they couldn't take me. One day I showed up to work. I, I used to, I, didn't, I I had to put my titties and stuff up, right? So they didn't want me coming to work as a transsexual. So I used to come to work. 
you know, as Timothy, but I would have my hair, you know, pull my hair back, the little bit of hair I did have, you know, pull the bitch back in the ponytail. Uh -huh. You know, I would have coming in, my eyebrows would be shaved off and shit, you know. So they knew you I was- to shave a, your eyebrows? Yeah, they draw them on. I'm from Florida. Oh. So they know they knew that we, I was doing something at night, after 12, before 6, right? All right. So, and then I would work the whole stroll late on after I got off of work. Uh-huh. So I would pull my hair back, Montez, have my, my titties was, you know, had my titties covered up. I wouldn't let them see my titties and shit, you know. So one Halloween, we had a big Halloween party, and I showed up to work as the bitch that I was. <laughs> and so when I showed up to work as the bitch that I was, it shook the room because I just came in what I live every day. I live as I'm a woman every day. You got, you hoes got me coming to this job in my Halloween costume. In drag. <laughs> you got me with my, you got my, you got my hair pulled back in the ponytail. You hoes got me in some slacks. But at the time, they were paying $14 an hour. So I was like, so I was like, all right, shit. And I was doing, and I was sucking dick at night after 12 or four, six on the side. I'm all right. I'm making good money, you know? So I'm telling y'all my story so nobody else got to tell y'all. So, you know, I come to work and drag every day. Got me dressed up like a fucking sir. You know? <laughs> so I end up, so on Halloween, I came to work regular. <laughs> I came in that bitch. I had a black skirt, a black, I had a black body dress, you know? Uh -huh. So they was able to see everything. They was able to see what was going on. They were like, oh, shit, this bitch a woman. <laughs> this bitch is a woman for real. I come in this bitch, you know, you catch a little titty, little, I come in this bitch like this. So they like, so when I got in the bitch, everybody that motherfucker was like, whoa. Like, whoa, I came in heels. We had a Halloween party, I had rap scrap up here. I came in like I, cause when I left there, I went to work on the beat. <laughs> so I came to work like I was going to work on the beat and I left cause shit, I was come, I was going, when I got off of that job, you were going straight to I work. I was going straight to work. <laughs> so I got to the bench and they was it, it just shook the building. Like the building was it erupted because I finally came to work how I live every day. So a lot of the motherfuckers could, could not, they could, it was, it, it, it was just that was the whole talk of the whole call center. Like it was just like, oh my God, this bitch son, this bitch is a woman. Um, you know, I had on my little makeup and shit, you uh -huh. know, my earrings. I was like, hey, good morning, y'all. Good afternoon, y'all. How y'all doing? You know, and so I, I would never forget that it was so much tension that day. It was tension that day. Like what kind of tension? Like it was tension. It? Like it was like like negative tension. Or it was not. Like it was it was a lot. First of all, I walked through that bitch. And I had already climbed, and what and the gag was some of you niggas that was at work. I was clientele with y'all before. <laughs> <laughs> some of you niggas I had already done tricked off with, bitch. <laughs> two weeks ago before y'all started working here, and then they were like, "Oh, I know that bitch." Like, oh my god, it's this <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Oh my god, I done fucked this bitch already. I done, <laughs> this bitch that already sucked my dick. I done gave this bitch my whole paycheck and did. And she worked for and and she she worked she worked, I got this bitch. You came to work for me, nigga. <laughs> she working now? Oh shit. And so, you know, it was just, it was a lot. Like, that was the talk of the thing. So, mind you, the next day was what? Uh, uh, what's after October? November. November, November 1st, right? So, November. November 1st, I had to come back to work and slack. They had to put me back in drag. <laughs> So I'm back in there, whatever. So it was like, you know, after that, it just was a downhill from there. And like uh, uh, two of the guys that was the boss uh, were talking about how they were like, you know, OK, well, we had a sh we had a shit show yesterday. And, you know, what I'm saying like it was Halloween, you know, blah, 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 blah. But we but we not having any of that stuff going on up in here. And I told them, I say, let me tell you something. I come to work every day in motherfucking drag. So what I, how I came to work yesterday is how I live every day. Right. And what y'all not finna do to me on a day to day basis is keep trying me. I say, y'all hosts only pay me fourteen dollars an hour. I make more money at night after twelve before fucking six when I come in this bitch. So don't even act like that. I won't leave here and you and and, and set you hoes on fire. And so the the we had a meeting and 
my boss at the time, I don't want to call his name because I know they still watch me. <laughs> so my boss at the time was in, we had a whole, this call, listen to a meeting about, you know, lunch breaks and all this type of shit, you know, trying to reprimand us. So I turned my motherfucking chair around while he was having a meeting. I turned my chair around uh -huh. while he was talking and I was looking at the wall. And so he was like, uh, Timothy, is there anything that you want to say to me? I said, well, first of all, I want to let you know that I don't appreciate you talking about the shit show that happened yesterday because I because I know you talking about me because you hoes couldn't take me when I came in this bitch. But I just want to let you know that this is what I live. That's how I live every day. And obviously there's a problem because I, you targeting, you talking about lunch breaks and all this stuff. So obviously you already directing your anger and you going some type of way at me because you feel some type of way. He says, what you will do in this building, you will lower your voice talking to me. I say, first of all, I'm older than you, bitch. <laughs> I'm older than you. And what you're not finna do is sit up here and think that you're finna talk to me all types of ways. You know, and you know, we had a little back and forth or whatever. Uh -huh. And so they sent me down to the um, they sent me down to HR. So HR had a, a black woman in there who I love dearly and who I love to this day. I don't know if she's still living or whatever. Her name was Deborah McCullough, and I love Deborah McCullough. Now, I don't know Deborah McCullough's sexuality. I don't know her, but I do know that Deborah McCullough was definitely a LBGTQIA ad ally. And baby, when I went down to the Deborah McCullough's office, I said, Miss Deborah, let me tell you something. I feel like that these puss ass, I talk to her just like I talked to her. I'm from Dave, so this is how we know how to talk. I feel like that puss ass motherfucking. And I said the words that I shouldn't say. In a professional setting. I, that puss ass <laughs> motherfucking blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Be trying me every day. And, they, and I said they feel some type of way because I came in here in drag yesterday. Well, I came in here how I live every day. I said, I want to let you know that I come to work every day and I dumb myself down because I need my job. But I don't, I'm a woman every single day, all day, every day. I don't, y'all making me put on a, a tie and a dress shirt ain't stopping nothing because I'm fucking some of these niggas in here any motherfucking way. That's what you told them? I, I was, I'm, if you've ever met me, you will know that I'm myself. I be myself everywhere I go. Well, I know you are yourself every time. I don't know how to be nothing else. Because well, you told them that I'm fucking these niggas in, in here. here already. <laughs> already. And the bosses feel some type of way about me because I shook the building up yesterday. And so I so she came from the back. I went back to my desk. And so she came, she came from from the back or whatever. And she had a conversation with them or whatever. Cause I think he called me, he said something in the realms of me being a faggot. Like the ball. He said something in the realms of me being a faggot. And I told him, bitch, I, I told him, I will, I will, my words was. Either y'all gonna stop fucking with me or y'all gonna pay me while I'm at home eating bun buns, watching the young and the restless. I do remember that being my line. <laughs> I will never forget I told him that. I said, either y'all gonna stop fucking with me and pay me how I work here at this job or I will go home and get paid eating bun buns, watching the young and the restless all motherfucking day. That's what I said. So that's why they sent me to the HR. <laughs> When they when she came from the back, uh -huh. she asked. They they had a meeting because they because he st said something in the in the realm of me being a faggot. Like he said something in that realm of that, and uh, I asked him, did he want a brace? I asked that bitch, well, what you want to square up, bitch? Do you want to square up? What you want to do? Do you want to square up? Who do you think you're talking to? You being insubordinate to me right now? Do you want to square up? <laughs> what's up with it because I don't want you to ever think in your heart of hearts bitch that I'm scared of no walking man bitch I don't want you thinking I'm scared of no living man please and thank you because we can square up because I do this shit after 12 before 6 <laughs> any motherfucking way I don't fault niggas on the host road bitch so you I, you come me, me having to square up at work ain't don't mean nothing to me to this day to this, to this day <laughs> So anyway, how they got me, give me Mary a good chair, Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, how they got me was this. They implement, I'm telling y'all my tea right now. And y'all, I'm, I'm giving y'all my tea so nobody don't have to dig and find this tea. 
Uh uh-uh, uh, she need to uh, yeah. get her that go in there and get that green chair, that wide chair. What they did to me was they implemented a new um a new rule to the job, and what they said on the job was you can't use the telephones, the telephone, the computers, the anything, you can't do the phones for any personal use, right? So they had put this policy in effect. And so when I seen them put the policy in effect, in effect, I was like, now these niggas, and I kept saying, now these niggas is trying to target me. No, so leave it right there. She'll move chair. So, so how I had, I had moved up so many different places in the company. I had moved up so many different places in track phone in the company. I started out as just a CSR that was a customer service representative. Then I moved up to activations. Then I moved from line activations to rebate. I moved to the rebate. I was the head of the rebate department. So if you have ever got a rebate from track phone back in the day, I'm the bitch that processed your rebate. I'm the one that made sure you got your rebate. I'm the person that's that, 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 that activated your phone, you know, and during this time I was like in my transition, right? I was in my, I was still in transition, but I was getting work done. Like I was getting my body done. I was getting injections. I would go like if the, if the lady was ready to do body work, I would go, I would go on my lunch break and go get body work done. Oh, really? Yes. On the clock? On the clock. (laughs) (laughs) I would leave and go get my body work done. I would go get my, I would go get pumped. Okay. I go home and get pumped because I was up in North Miami because I'm from south, down south. So you was getting pumped like in North Miami. So I would get I would go get pumped, you know, where they was doing the pumping at. And I would come back to work. I have my little bandages and shit on. <laughs> they wouldn't know because I had on fucking slacks. <laughs> but my thing, man, is that you did all of this. No, I want you to on the clock. On the clock. <laughs> and, and here and here is the gag. You know, as a faggy. As a trans, as a gay, or whatever, you know, we're gonna always be friends with the girls. They're, they're, this bitch, it's girls out there that don't like us because we trans, uh-huh. but then there are girls out there that loves us because we trans and we bond and we be sisters and friends. And so I used to take my girlfriend, who was one of the one of the bosses there, she was a Spanish girl, and we went to go get our bodies done at the same fucking time on the clock. Oh. She was my she was my <laughs> boss's boss. <laughs> so we would go on lunch break. Hey, so she was the boss. She was like the main boss. She was the boss's boss. And we would go get our body done on lunch break. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all, this is the true tea. So when my life story come what out, the we, hell, really? you know, when my life story come out, we will be visiting all this stuff. Cause this is stuff I wrote about in my memoir in one of my <laughs> memoirs. Like we would leave and we would go get our body work done. <laughs> our, she'll go, she'll be laying there to get her titties pumped and get her ass pumped. And bitch, I'll be like, I'll be laying there next to her, get my titties pumped and my ass pumped too. I can just imagine your boss going to her and saying, She's always leaving on break. And your boss, her boss and my like, boss was like, and so they used to always say, <laughs> now we don't work there no more, so I don't give a fuck. So they used to always say. Bitch, you got something on these people in here because they won't fire you. You done did some bad <laughs> shit, Madison, and they will not fire you. They will not fire you. And I'm like, what you don't know is me and the boss is going over there to get our body done. This bitch come back with bigger titties off the lunch. <laughs> Baby, Betty, I would no, I. Once you do this movie, I definitely Once have I to do watch my it. Doc, when I do, I have to. Oh, it's do, gonna be so vicious. I have to watch it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be so vicious, bitch. That's why God. That's why God got me living this long. Because it's gonna be so vicious when they, when we do. That's why Lee Daniels is so enamored. Oh. That's why he's so enamored with me because I wrote about all of this stuff. Like this shit happened. This what I. This what I was. This what happened. No, oh, I gotta watch this. So we left to go get our bodies and stuff done or whatever. So not, mind you. They couldn't get me on lunch break because I would go. It'll be extended lunch. We we'll go, and this is when <laughs> <laughs> this is when Tony Romans used to be open. I know if y'all don't remember Tony Romans, the real shack. We'll go eat Tony Romans, and then we'll be. Then my girlfriend come me like, "Hello, Madison, <laughs> we're ready for you." <laughs> oh, okay, okay, girl. How much you got? Like, how, like, I'm gonna bring my sister. My sister coming with me. Wait, were they Jamaican? 
No, they were Spanish. Oh, because I thought no, I don't. I got my body done by Spanish girls. Oh, okay. So, so we would go, and so my Spanish girlfriend would because, and I love that bitch to this day. I don't want to call her name because, and she know who she is. I love her. I haven't talked to her in so long. She probably see me and be like, ah. Well, that was my bitch. <laughs> we would go out. She got naked there. I don't see her whole pussy hanging out. She laying on the floor, on the table, get her ass pumped. I'm laying next to her, get my pussy, my ass pumped. We get pumped, you know, and we go back to work. So it was a lot of shit going on. So the so the so the dude bosses, uh-huh. the dude bosses used to be like they felt some type of way. They'll see me and her. Oh, I want to call her name. Mo, you got to put. I want to. I want to say her name. So let me put this. Uh, then mute me. Can you not mute me? <laughs> oh, you want me to mute you? No, give me this because I got to come back and. T- I got. I want you to. I got to say it out because it's gonna. It's gonna. Be oh, you want me to? You want to do thirty seconds? Yeah, just like. <laughs> okay, I said her name. I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> That's who it was. So we would go, we would just, we would hang. That was my dog. You feel me? Uh-huh. And then I would take a couple of other girls to work, you know, like to go get work. Like, uh-huh. you know, I would take my girlfriends, like, come on. Like, bitch, you want some tea? You want some? I'm like, I just be like, girl, look, girl. <laughs> All them bitches know I was a man. <laughs> That's what you were doing? Bitch, I was, I was born a man. So basically, you were, you were getting her some more clients. Yeah, here. I was, because the more clients I got, the more work that bitch gave me. <laughs> So I was born male. So bitch, you come back in there. These hoes know you born male, and you like this, like girl, little bitch. <laughs> on lunch break, <laughs> on lunch break, bitch. But I tell you something wrong with you, Patty. You be thinking I just be saying shit, Patty. You different. On you lunch different. break, I tell you, you different, Patty. I, tell you I will unbutton my button up shirt and be like, girl, you don't see this bitch. You see this cleavage, bitch. So, you know, we go here and uh, so so the upper the upper bosses was just like, it's just something y'all y'all two connected, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> now I'm finna be real. This way I can't call nobody name, oh. I can't call nobody name. Okay. I can only tell what happened. So what happened? So anyway, I had got a company phone. <laughs> <laughs> I already know how this is going. I already know how this is going. Go ahead. Just go ahead and tell your story. Go ahead. So we all had company phones. Uh-huh. These are my girls. We all had company phones. <laughs> the company phone had about a million units on that bit. <laughs> Any anytime, anywhere units, baby. <laughs> this is how we was able to keep in contact with each other, like girl, like you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, what's the girl? <laughs> girl. So they just was like, they took my FBI in the chat. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> so they was like, now nah, man, now nah, now nah, Timothy, how in the hell do you got a new how do you have the latest track phone? Oh, I had the latest, the flip phone. How do you have the latest track phone? The latest one. And it has thousands of units on it. I'm like, stay out of my business. <laughs> what did you over here in my business for? I come to work on time every day. What is <laughs> no, you don't. I did. No, I came to work on time. Oh, you did? Did I stay? No. <laughs> I was never late. <laughs> but you were never there. But I was never there. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas over there like Timothy. <sighs> Explain how you got this. And then them bitches went and cut my phone off. Oh, for real? Yes. They had got a hold of They cut my phone off. But they cut my phone off. They cut the, my boss phone. My, they cut my boss's boss phone off. They cut a slew of our phone off, and I was like, "Oh shit, they done got us." So I had to talk to them from my regular phone, like, "Girl, they, I said, girl, they was." And then my boss was like, "Don't worry about it. You know, what I'm saying we just gonna, you know, we this these, these were demo phones. <laughs> <laughs> these were the new phones. <laughs> these were the new phones that we was gonna put out to the consumers. You know, what I'm saying with the you like, don't worry about it. I got you, man. I got you. I got you. I got you. You know, and bitch, 
Let me, let me say this and then I'm gonna get back on track. Okay. You hoes could never hurt me with calling me Timothy, bitch. Y'all have no idea what happened in that name. <laughs> you have no idea what happened in that name, and you have no idea the checks I have cashed in that name. You would never be able. <sighs> you will never be able to understand why, bitch. That don't that don't mean nothing to me. So they implemented this policy about using company. This is how this policy about using company phones, company email, company equipment by using the company. They implement, and I say, okay, they're targeting me. They're targeting me. Because they and try to figure out they what try, they try to they try to figure out shit. They try they targeted me. And so the, the policy came out, right? And I said, mm, okay, they're trying to get me. They're trying to terminate me. I say, got it. Because they can't get me for being late. They can't get me for being, because every time I come back off of my lunch break, I will come back off my lunch break or something with my boss. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that means the boss approved or whatever. Ah, right. Okay. 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 Come on now. I'm, I'm, if you stay with me, you'll see yeah. how this went. So one day I called, I was at my desk and I had got a promotion. I had got a promotion to being the rebate supervisor. So when they brought this Haitian girl in and when they brought the Haitian girl in, she was, she was, you know, she, she was giving a lot to me. And so I was like, okay. And one of the things she said out of her mouth, she said, I heard you dress up at night. I said, no, I'm actually dressed up now. <laughs> if you want to know the real gag, I'm dressed up now. I'm dressed up because I got a check that comes here every Friday, every Thursday. Right. This is why I'm dressed up. But, bitch, when you see me at night, that's who I am every day. And so I was like, oh, she come. Oh, so they done already been talking. This is what been going on. Okay, got it. They done already told her I was the faggot. Okay, here we go. So this is how we finna shake this up. So, uh, the guy came. Ooh, his name was Juan. I ain't let I fuck that. I ain't like Juan. Really? Why? Mm -hmm. was Juan? His he was one, but he was a black guy. So he came over. Juan. Mm -hmm, Juan. We are from Miami, Myrtle. That's true. I forgot. I keep. So going. he walked over there. He told me, "Oh, this uh, you about this, this finna be your new uh, person that I want you to train." He was the he was they they made him the what's the what's that supervisor that. The V, the VR, the supervisor where they listen to your call. Quality, they get, they made him the quality assurance supervisor. So they started list, they listen to all the calls. Oh, okay. So him and her started fucking. And so he brought her over there to my desk and he told me, Oh, you, I need you to train her on what you do over here. Cause nobody didn't know what I do. Nobody didn't under, could understand like how I had out. Cause I was, I controlled the rebate department. Okay. If you have gotten a rebate, from track phone, I'm possibly the bitch that's, that took care of your rebate. So him and her were fucking. He brought that bitch over there to my desk and told me, I need, Timothy, I need you to train her on exactly what you do all day. And I said, really? And you know, I'm, I, I'm not going to be nobody but me. Right. You think I'm finna train this bitch to take my job? If you think I didn't say that, pop me right now. <laughs> That's what you said. You think I'm finna train this bitch to take my job? I'm not training her to do a motherfucking thing. Then what happened after if that? If you don't train her, you fired. I said, well, I guess I'm fired mm -hmm. then. Because <laughs> who gonna come out here and do these rebates? If you know how to do this, you come out here and train her. You think I'm stupid? I pointed. I, he was talking to me because he was not my boss. Oh, okay, okay. He wasn't my boss. He was over the quality assurance. Right, right. He walked over there and told me, you know, I and I she was standing right there by me, and I was looking dead at him and I pointed at her. And I said, You think I'm finna train this bitch to take my motherfucking job? You've lost your mind. And he was like, Timothy, who you think you're talking to like that? I, I said, Ain't I'm looking at you and talking about this bitch. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Next thing I know, they had me all, all over down there. <laughs> they had to walk me back there to the HR. <laughs> Again. So they walked me back down to the HR, and I sat there, and I crossed my legs. I said, Deborah, I feel like that it's a conspiracy to try to get my job. I said, because, and I, and I say, I want to let you know. 
since we do since they being messy, I want to let you know that one is fucking her. They are actually fucking they they fraternizing because I was coming off my lunch break and I seen them bitches get out the car with each other. How you like that? Oh wow. So I know they fucking they've been fucking on the job and he's a married man. Oh wow. This thing I know, I came into my desk, Deborah was coming down the hallway. <laughs> Deborah was coming down the hallway, and Deborah was coming. And she, she, when she came down the hallway, she went to their office, and then I see the door, the door close and the shades go down. And I was at my desk like this. Train who, bitch? <laughs> There's nobody to train, train no more. Who? You gonna need somebody? To, you need to train somebody to do your job. Bitch, you over? You <laughs> gonna be out of here? You over there fucking that girl? And that's <laughs> this thing, you know. That's the definition of it's either you or me. First of all, this is why when I tell y'all I go toe to toe with any bitch living because I'm 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 built for the shits. People be like, man, said, how you like? I'm 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 elastic, bitch. I'm built for it. If you want a war, I'm with war. You want to be friends? We could be that all day. But I'm just what Beyonce say. I'm just as petty as you are. You, are, you petty. You petty. <laughs> Only the radio can play me, bitch. You can't play me. <laughs> you <And> so. <laughs> you said, oh, you trying to take my job? No, you trying to take I, my job? I got something for you. I got something for you. <laughs> and you trying to get this bitch, the bitch you fucking, you think that she gonna, because cause my raise went from $14 to $16.50. Almost $17 an hour. And you got to realize this was back then. So this was a lot of money. And plus I was working 12 hour shifts. And so this was he was a straight man. I'm not scared of no man. I want you bitches watching me right now. When y'all hold me talking about something, I don't have no energy for no man. You bitches don't know me. <laughs> y'all don't know me because I keep a bat, a gun, a ice pick, a spear. I keep everything because I will twirl with a man first. Then I'm gonna pop your ass, bitch, for, for making this shit happen. <laughs> so all y'all get y'all ass whooped at the end of the equation. <laughs> Man, woman, and or child. Because I'll kick your kids across the street if I need to. But don't forget dog or cat, too. Them, too. <laughs> the moral of the story is don't fuck with me, and I won't. you won't have to get this side of me. So, you know, uh, Deborah said, Deborah had a conversation with him. This thing, I know he had them peeled up my back. And I said, first of all, I'm not, you're not my boss. I don't have to answer to you. So guess what? Guess who started? Guess what happens the next day? What? My boss don't tell me she get fired. No, my oh. boss walks down the hallway and tells me, "Hey, uh, Timothy, I'm gonna need you to train her outside." Oh wow! I said I just had this discussion with Deborah yesterday. I'm not training her to do a motherfucking thing. She can sit over there and learn what she's doing. She, I'm I'm her boss, and so she can sit over there and learn whatever she need to learn. If she whatever work she see me do, tell her tell her who I will train her on my lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> when my lunch break is over then I start her training right so I was like okay I, I had already seen that it was a conspiracy right conspiracy conspiracy the conspiracy when that new policy came out that they had made it enlisted everything that I was doing wrong I was like oh they on to me oh. got it so they turned off my phone because they didn't understand how I had got their company phone. They was trying to get me to train this girl. They started monitoring. Hey, 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 hey. They started monitoring my lunch break. <laughs> they started monitoring my lunch break. It was a lot of shit that they started doing. Right? I'm And I'm giving y'all the, the, the little piece of that over there because it was so much shit happened to me at that job. I, that's a whole chapter in my book by itself. What happened to me at that job? Okay. But this is the this is the part how I got fired, and this was the last home stretch of the job. So I was like, "All right, Madison, tighten up. You got to get the if you you got. I worked from eleven to eleven, eleven a.m. to eleven p.m. Oh damn! I worked from eleven to eleven. That's twelve hours, right? And and I was making almost. $17 an hour, if not $17 an hour. So I was making a lot of money a day. Yeah, yeah. I was about so to that was 11 to 11. All right. Now catch this game. I started, I was making sure that I was on, I was at work on time. I was making sure that, you know, everything was good. Were you staying at work? I was staying at work. Okay. Because okay. I felt like they was on my ass. Okay. And I'm like, okay, these bitches on my ass. So I got to make sure this shit tight. What I didn't expect for them was to, this how they fired me. I picked up my desk phone. 
I called into my friend had got a promotion and I called from the rebate department to line activations because I needed to know what to, and they was trying to separate my other because I had a, first of all, you can't be no, you can't be no real nigga without no click. <laughs> I had a click of motherfucker that was my friends right. that we was clicked up. You know, we had each other's back. Uh-huh. I clocked them in there, clock us, even though this how I was. Right. So what they did was to separate us, they promoted my peoples to other departments. Oh. And, and this is how I knew they was out to get me. Oh, they promoted shit. my peoples to other departments. Basically, we gonna get we yeah, gonna, we gonna separate. We gonna separate. This how we gonna do. We gonna separate this like this, and then we gonna hit that bitch. Because <laughs> we know with her being separated, we not gonna be able to. Uh, we we when they pop, they they stick together. We ain't gonna be the we gonna be the fire her. Right. But separated, we gonna be together. And if we get this, if we if we give her a dollar and fifty cent more, she gonna train this girl. I told him if I trained that bitch, I had my mama. <laughs> and I told her, lady, I ain't got no problem with you. But if I trained that bitch, I had, I birthed my mama. That bitch never got trained. <laughs> so, so then how were you able to go through our work? So I picked up my phone because they, 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 they escalated my friend to the line activations. So my friends started to activate phone lines now. Uh-huh. So I picked my desk phone up and I was like, and this, and I'm going to tell y'all how old this is. This shit old. When Trina album came out and Trina album, it was like, did somebody beat Trina? On Trina album, there is a skit where Trina was like at the nail, hello, hair trap. How can I help you? Yeah, somebody beat Trina. And so I picked my phone up. I would never forget this. I called Line Innovations. I was like, yeah, somebody beat Trina. And it was like, yeah, girl, yeah, yeah, I beat the, I beat the, what time are we going to lunch? I was like, yeah, we going to lunch about 3, about 3.30. You know what I'm saying? We going to Tony Romans. I'm like, I'm like, you getting the cornbread stuff? And I'm like, yeah, girl, I like that. And then I hung up. We went to lunch. i never forget this day. We went to motherfucking lunch. Mind you, this was before September 11. This was before the Twin Towers came down. We went to lunch. And we came back off of lunch. When I came back to my desk, I saw the sec- they had security waiting for me by my desk. Oh, for real? Yeah, when we came back right from lunch, they had security waiting by, for me by my desk. And I was like, well, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's what's up? What's what are we what are we doing here? And security name was Joe, big white Joe, big ass Joe. But I wasn't scared of motherfucking Joe. <laughs> Bitch, I'd have hit Joe with two, two or three, two pieces. Joe, you got me for the I fight on the sidewalk, Joe. I'd have squared up with Joe. I'd hit Joe two times. What's going on here, Joe? Um, we need you back and we need you to to turn in your badge and we need to see you in HR. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm not giving y'all my badge. I'm, I'm going to wait till Deborah talks to me and you know what I'm saying? And you know, we're going to see what's up. So I walked back there, whatever I sat down. And when I sat down, my, 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 uh, not my, not my boss, not the lady name I told you, but right. the un, under her, oh, okay. he was in the office Another one of his, like the one of the floor managers was in the office. And uh uh Carl, Carlos. So it was in the office. Uh I'm thinking, because this shit got real. This how this how I knew they was plotting on me. So when I came in, they were sitting in two chairs over here, and, and Deborah said, Timothy, go ahead and have a seat. And so I was like, I sat down. I never forget this bitch because I got fired right before the Twin Towers. And I sat down at the day at the thing, and she was like, um, so uh you know that they just implemented a policy um about using uh company uh Phones. company anything company for personal uses. And so you were using the telephone, you were using the telephone for personal calls. You know, and um, 
we're going to need to investigate on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to suspend you with pay. And we're going to need to send you home. Wait, so are they saying because you use the phone to say, oh, I'm going on break? Right. Are I, you serious? Listen to me, Mo. I already know what the fuck happened. Oh, so wow. I So what I said to Deborah was, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know that that's what that you couldn't. I said I wasn't calling outside for personal use. I was calling from department to department. We were talking about lunch. Right. But I said, all right, cool. You know, and so they already had whatever conversation they had, you know. They already made it. Well, watch this. Watch how real of a G your dog is. I said, well, can I go back to my desk and pack up my things? Because I have um, lots of things that I need to pack up from my desk. I've been here a long time, so I need to pack up a lot of stuff from my desk. That's where they fucked up at. That's where they fucked up at. Because what did they say? Deborah said, yes, you can go back to... So Joe escorted me over to my desk. I started packing my things. But while I, when I sat down at my desk, I began. First of all, I, I locked up that department. <laughs> so if some of you didn't get your rebates after that, <laughs> sorry. First of all, I locked that shit down. <laughs> That was the first thing that I did. <laughs> and thing number two, what I motherfucking did. <laughs> you petty as fuck. Bitch. You and thing petty number as two. Fuck. <laughs> 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 he said, oh, I lost my job. None of you niggas get your you, rebate. None of you bitches. And I, I and I, y'all and, and don't none of y'all know how to do this. <laughs> but me. Oh my God. So <laughs> we're gonna see how y'all get past tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you petty as fuck. And while I was doing that, I printed off every email. <laughs> Hold on. I printed off every email, every chain letter, every every emoji, every everything that they that was sent around the building. I printed it off. It was stacks like this. Every correspondence that they had with laughing out loud and all that, everything, every single thing. That they did, and in turn, I printed off, and I walked over there. And when I walked out of that building, I walked out of that building with a stack of papers like this. <laughs> <laughs> on September tenth. Oh my god! On September tenth, they fired me. They went on and said that you know, after after investigation. You know, we're going to have to go ahead on and terminate. Timothy, we're going to have to terminate your job. I said, okay, cool. September 11th happened. Uh, whatever Monday that was, I don't know if, the, I don't know what September 11th happened. I do know that I filed unemployment the next, like the next day I filed for unemployment. Uh -huh. And because I was making so much good money, like my unemployment checks were good. Right. Right. Okay. I want y'all to follow me on this. And I'm going to tell you this because y'all need to be really invested in this. So after they terminated me and I had all that, I took all that paperwork home with me and I filed unemployment. I started getting my unemployment. And this is when George Bush was in office. Yeah. And so George Bush had it in the situation, like if you get fired or you get terminated, or you lose your job. He had extended your, your unemployment you get unemployment for a year, and then after that, you he extended your unemployment for a whole year after, right? So I was getting my unemployment. I was good because I because remember in earlier in the story I said you niggas got two options: either I can work here, or y'all can pay me while I'm at home eating bun buns, watching the Young and the Restless. <laughs> I told him that. That was what I told him, and I meant that. Do you know that them niggas got up? I was getting unemployment. I ain't even argue about it. They fired me. They fired my girl who I called over there to the line. Uh -huh. They fired her. They they were they were invested in firing my whole clique. They fired my boss's boss because they had an investigation on. They were investigating on all of us. So we all all of us got fired. They were out for all of you. All of us. So they fired all of us. But I was on the telephone telling them hoes at home, bitch. I'm not done. <laughs> you hoes can go look for another job all day. I'm finna take, I'm finna hit these bitches. Like you, you see how them God forgive me for saying this. God forgive me for saying this. But my exact words, you see how them two planes hit motherfucking the twin towers? Call me them two planes because I'm finna hit I'm finna hit 
Cause they they was a, they was track phone, but they was called Top Telecom. I'm finna hit Top Telecom, bitch, ten times worse. Watch my smoke. Those bitches, after seven eight months of me sitting at home chilling, uh, I went and got me a lawyer. I had got a lawyer because I felt like they fired me based off justly. of. They based off of it about because the problem, all of this shit started happening to me after I came to work in like me. They couldn't take me after that. Bitch, they cut my unemployment off right during when I was getting ready to have to pay my fucking rent. I was like, oh no. Because I wasn't even going to the stroll. I was getting my work check. I had make I was making about $17 an hour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my unemployment was fat. Them bitches made me have to go. I that's right. I filed a complaint at the EEOC. I went downtown. Mama, yo, yo, that you weren't with me. It was my my mama, my aunt was with me. Me and my aunt went down. We filed. I filed a complaint with the EEOC. I told them that they fired me uh, off of me being homosexual and me being a drag queen because I did. I, I'm a drag queen that lives her life as a woman every day, and they wouldn't let me come to work as no woman every day. And so, bitch, they was they was discriminating against me for a long period of time, and now they don't fire me. They they tried to find every area to do the shit they did, and they fired me. And after they fired me. They now they want to uh, cut my unemployment off, girl. It was in August. God, oh my God, this everything is so full circle. I think it was like August sixteen. Oh really? Yeah, it was in August. It was in August that I had a hearing to go to the unemployment because I, I I won't forget. I went down there to the unemployment office. I was, baby, I was done. I needed to let them hoes know, bitch. I'm not at, I'm not at this place no more. So, baby, what you, what you saw on Halloween? This how I live every day. I showed up to my unemployment office, honey. My heels was my heels. I was in my my step in heels, honey. I had on my little short dress. My hair was whooped up, and I slid up into the unemployment office, honey. And they was and they sent two supervisors down there, and they asked my supervisor was name was Randall. He was a gay. Mind you, no, listen. But why you, you had to do this? Because he was a white gay. <laughs> this how they work. They'll know you a gay or a fag, and they'll try to use a gay or a fag or a trans against you. You feel me? So they sent Randall, because I cussed Randall. I said, bitch, you gay. How the hell you over here? You know these people do this shit against gay people, but you just doing this shit. Okay, you white punk. I, you know, y'all know my mouth reckless. I don't give a mm -hmm. fuck what you is. You get cussed out. This is how it work, Mo. <laughs> I cussed that white punk out till it was no tomorrow. Oh my God. Because I gotta tell you. So we went to the we went to the uh to the unemployment office. We down there at the hearing. The white woman was sitting over there with her glasses at the end of her nose like this, bitch. She had her glasses on. So she was like, she was doing this. She was reading all over the paperwork and she was reading it. The reason why they, they terminated me was because I was kept vi I violated the pop the, the no use, no personal company use policy. So she had her glasses down there, whatever, and she said, and this is why I this is why I fuck with my girls. And this is why when y'all tell me y'all don't want me to call y'all sis, I'm all right with it. I'm all right with respecting my folks that respect me. Bitch, that woman said, Miss Hinton. Do you have anything that you want to present to me as the reason why that you should still receive your unemployment? Because they had fought their battle. They was like, oh, I, 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 I fought against every, um, I, I was late. I was taking extended lunch breaks. I was blah, blah. They was coming with all this shit talking about me, like whatever, you know, talking. And then Randall was like, oh, yes. And I'm... Um, what what happened was she had picked up her telephone on her desk and they were having some type of conversation about somebody beeping Trina. I never forget that punk said that shit. They were having a conversation about somebody beeping Trina or someone named Trina. They were about her being beeped. And I said, I was over there like, punk, I'm going to beat you up outside, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stomp you outside when we leave from this building down here. I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass, white hoe. You know... 
and, and they were having a, a discussion um, over lunch break about somebody uh, beeping Trina. Um, let me finish, Mo. Don't throw me out. Yeah, sorry. So after they done pleaded their case and stuff like that, girl, when she asked, she said she pulled her glasses off like this, bitch. Uh-huh. I never forget that woman. She say, Miss Hinton. Is there anything that you want to that you want to uh, present in defense of anything that the company is saying against you? I already know. I said yes. One moment, please. I already know. <laughs> when I laid the that emails. stack of motherfucking emails and papers down on that table, I said, "Randall, is this not your name at the top?" And the other supervisor. Is this not your name at the top? Is this not your name at the top of all of these chain emails? Why are y'all talking about going to Jamaica in these emails? Ooh. Why are you sending me an email talking about you walking your dog down the street, this and the other? Why is this, has this at the top of this? Is this not Sergene DeGene over here? Why are they having these conversations about their kids going to the pool? So my question is, why am I terminated and not y'all? Because obviously you all use company equipment to have personal conversations. So why am I fired? Does this not say down here in your company policy that this adheres and, and is administered to all members of the company, meaning supervisors and employees and subordinates? So tell me, does this not apply to you? And me, or does it just apply to me? And why am I terminated? And you're sitting here fighting for the company. That woman put her glasses back on like this, uh-huh. and she said, "Why <laughs> is this not what your policy says down here at the bottom that this that this that this is for everybody? That this comp that this and this was implemented on June the fifteenth. Uh, blah blah blah, two thousand. Something this is implemented at this time. So why why is it why are you not? And these emails were after this, were after this new policy was implemented. Right. So I'm asking you, does this just apply to her, or is this all members of the company? And you know what they had to say? What? Um, the policy is administered, and it and it and it um it's for all members of the company. She said, "Thank you. I don't need to hear anything else from you." Miss Hinton, I'll give you my judgment on what how what's going on with your unemployment um, in a couple of days. Thank you all for having this mediation hearing. Y'all have a nice day. When we left that building, bitch, in less than 48 hours, I received a judgment and the judgment stated that we over here at the EEOC and the unemployment office have found out that that, that Miss Hinton was terminated oh, due yeah. Unjustly and was terminated due to personal reasons from the company. And so, therefore, we are reinstating her unemployment to the fullest and we are extending it for an entire year. I got on my motherfucking telephone after I got that letter and I called up in there and I said, Hi, can I speak to Randall? (laughs) Can I speak to Randall? Well, you gotta be petty. I said, Randall, thanks for saying yes. Now, may I speak to Sir Jean DeGene? And mind you, I, listen, I'm not going to tell y'all the other extent of the things that I did because I'm a dark bitch. Don't play with me. When my scales go over like this, I'm very wicked. I just know that I, when I called up in there, I, the other heads were rolling all day. I called in and asked for four supervisors. But the gag is, I knew they were being fired because my because one of my oh, friends, wow. one of my friends called me at home and was like, "Bitch, what did you do at that unemployment hearing?" She says, "Girl, Joe is in here walking bitches out. Joe is in here walking supervisors, te- floor leaders, and people there and managers. They are walking them out." So I called in asking for them. Hi, can I speak to Sir Jean? To Jean? Can I speak to Randall? Can I speak to them? I was calling them by name. And so the people that were still working there, when I got on the phone, they was like, man, Tim, you messy. I was like, I don't know. Is there any way that I can speak to them? And so the last person they was getting ready to walk out was Carlos. And so I was able to speak to Carlos right before they gave him the axe. 
And I said, bitch, didn't I tell you that I was going to either be paid while I was at work or I was going to be at home eating bun buns, watching the Young and the Restless. And I turned the Young and the Restless theme up <laughs> and put the phone over there. I turned the Young and the Restless theme up and said, have a nice day. And we both unemployed now, bitch. <laughs> And that was my last correspondence with any of them over there at Track Phone. Oh, wow. Bitch, I made sure that it was at least five or six supervisors Ooh. lost their job. It was it Eddie LaBelle. Bitch, play with your pussy. I tell you all the time, play with your pussy. Don't play with me. I'm a dark bitch. Don't get on my side. Don't get on that side where I have to go dark. Because you may have, you may do it all loud and be messy all loud and all out. But bitch, when I hit you, it's going to be like the Twin Towers coming down. you where it hurt, where it hurts. Coming down. Because don't get me where I have to hit you like that. Because that's not what I, I don't lead. I lead in with love. But you cause me to be dark. Oh, it's dark. <laughs> that's crazy. Yes. I terrorized them hoes. And bitch, when them people said that they couldn't find any other reason, they only found, the only thing that they found was that I was unjustly terminated because of personal reasons yeah. from that, the company. That's all you can say it was personal reasons. You can't say it was because of, because you. Because if y'all wasn't firing everybody. Why were you firing me? Why was you being firing me? Now, don't go to bringing up that I was late. And I was this because the or lady you, or you left work because the because the woman said <laughs> because that. the woman said if y'all if she was doing such a poor job didn't y'all just give her two promotions in the company that's true that's true they promoted me twice in the company and then thought that I was gonna was gonna train this bitch to do my job but you know why I think they thought they were gonna you they thought if they promoted you, you were to fuck up and I'll give them another reason to fire you. Let me tell you something. Just because I cuss don't mean I'm not a smart bitch. <laughs> I cuss because I'm smart. It was folding chair season all during that time. <laughs> Before there was a folding chair season. Oh my God. I didn't play with those holes at all. I had maybe that was that was one of the biggest take. Let me call my girl. Is my girl answer the oh, phone? You was it, that was one of the biggest takedowns ever that I that ever. Mama, they got fired. They, they was firing them niggas all day, and I would call in to speak to them because I knew they was getting fired. It's like Tim, you messy. I said they still there. <laughs> Are they still there? Is they walking? Is who? Is Joe walking to my? Can I speak to Joe? Cause Joe busy. Joe, oh can y'all put me on speaker? Hey, Joe, you busy, Joe? Oh, my goodness. You's a mess. You's a whole mess. Don't fuck with me. You's a whole mess. If you don't hit me, I won't have to hit you back. We can go to lunch together and eat. <laughs> <laughs> or get some work done. Well, we can go when I tell way. you Joe was walking them niggas out all day, Joe was walking them niggas out all day. He worked for his money. He day. all day he was walking them <laughs> niggas out of there. For his money they say out. when they was this let me call my dog. They say when they when that bitch had to turn in badges. Uh-huh. When they was turning in badges, that them motherfucker was over there saying, boy, they, they say what they said, I can't stand that faggot. Good. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Good. You can't stand that punk. That punk they do nothing to you. All I was was just a punk. That was it. <laughs> you chose to attack me. Oh my goodness. You chose to do this. Is what you chose to do. You chose the dark side. That's true. If you wanted to really get rid of you, you should have caught got real evidence and not make shit and try to make <laughs> some shit up. Let me tell you something. I got a strong, I got a what you call it box. A, a, I got a silver box, a silver lock box uh -huh. that I keep. I keep those papers in. Oh, those papers in there. I got that silver and I keep those I kept those papers in there because that was one of my most triumphant victories victories <laughs> that was one you got it that was one of my most triumphant victories and in that being one of my most triumphant victories that's a trophy they said that's a trophy I remind myself of how I took down a whole company <laughs> <laughs> It 
it reminded me how I took that company to the ground. <laughs> oh, this stuff blue. Oh, yeah, that's because of I right clicked it. Betty, I'll be back. Yeah, it just reminded me how I took that fucking company to the flow. And when I tell you, I, I have, if there has never been one of those more prouder moments in my life, because them niggas fired me because they was homophobic, transphobic, they was this way, they fired me because of that. And then they sent a fag down there to do their dirty work to try to make it, to try. that's why I, they tried to do that to send this punk down there to cover up, and they saw a white punk down there to make it seem like, oh, we inclusive? Nah, nigga. Nah. Nah. You say I should have sued him. I tried to sue it. I had when it got a lawyer, but I think my lawyer that I had when it got, I think he had died. I didn't know anything about that. Like, I didn't know nothing about that type of stuff. I just knew that I'm the type of bitch that you, that what they messed up at, was they let me go back to my desk. Because when I got back to my desk, I said, oh, baby, it's bombs over Baghdad. Because I had, just like they've been plotting on me, I had been plotting on them niggas. Like, I've been watching y'all. I've been watching how y'all, I've been watching how y'all move, and I've been watching how y'all been over there plotting on me. Y'all niggas been plotting on me for the longest. Hell no, I wasn't doing the, I wasn't doing the best at work. <laughs> at least you know. But you could have fired me for that. <laughs> but they had no proof. If y'all would have fired me, if y'all would have fired me on the shit that I was doing, then I'd have been like, I wouldn't have fought like that. Y'all would have fired me because I was doing that shit. Y'all fired me because Y'all started feeling some type of way about me coming to work because they all happened the day after Halloween. Oh, okay. It started happening. And Halloween, October, November, December, January, February, I, I went for a whole nother year, like a, almost a whole year where they was harassing me. They was doing all type of stuff. And that's the shit that made me stop, start doing what you were doing, doing to doing that stuff to the job. Cause I said, oh, they finna find me anyway. So they, I, I'm in fuck these, fuck these folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take y'all down. I'm gonna take y'all. I wasn't thinking about taking them down. It's just that when I started seeing, when I saw that new policy come out, I said, this for me. This for me. <laughs> 